Hi everybody, it's Carla with Cobweb Corner and welcome to floss tube number, let's see, 71. It is July 29th, 2022 and I have a ton of stuff to share with you guys so I'm going to kind of jump right in. Um, it's been, we've got a, done a lot since my last video. We uh, went on a little vacation and we went camping and then my dad celebrated his 90th birthday. So that was pretty exciting. He's doing great. Both my parents are doing great. My mom's 88 now and my dad just turned 90. Um, and my daughter came home in order to celebrate his birthday. So she was home for four days, five nights. So that, that just all happened last weekend. And um, it was just a great, great time to uh, spend with family and celebrate that huge milestone so that was a lot of fun um, we've been pretty busy and I have been not stitching a lot but I've been doing a lot of crafting and I do have a little bit of stitching to show you so and then I've got a bunch of scissor bobs that I made that I want to show and just a little bit of new uh, shop inventory so let's just jump right in um, I in if you're new to the channel, this is a channel about cross stitch and my online cross stitch shop. And I would really appreciate it if you like the video, if you uh, click subscribe and then click the uh, like button so that you get um, notified when new videos are released. Thank you. So other than my dad's birthday, we did go camping for three days. We went on a hike, did a little bit of shopping, went to a brewery. Um, did some fun stuff like that with some friends. We also uh, spent a weekend in Vegas about, let's see, we were there on the 4th of July, just uh, three very quick nights with my husband. And I finally got my hair fixed. If you kind of, you can still see, uh, if you were with me a few videos ago, I talked about my worst haircut ever. And you can see there's still some choppy lines, but I went to, um, uh, salon in Vegas uh, where they really knew what they were doing and she's like yeah I don't know what your lady was thinking there but she got it mostly fixed and then did do a color I was gonna let it all grow go gray but I just couldn't do it <laughs> so I did get a little bit of a color but you can still see some gray in there and I'm really happy with it so um, yeah that was fun so anyway uh, what else has been going on? So in June and July, it was the All Iowa Quilt Shop Hop. And there's 90 different shops that participated this year all over the state of Iowa. And last year, I was just getting into quilting and machine embroidery and fabric purchasing and stuff like that. And I bought a ton of fabric, um, some of which is behind me here. So this year... My girlfriend and I that went to went shopping together, we kind of uh, scaled back on the purchases out of necessity. But I have some fun new fabric to show you. Um, I know that not all of you are into fabric, but some of this is really fun. I don't do um, big quilts, although I did start um, kind of a little bit bigger than lap size quilt that I'm gonna show you today. But I do a lot of project bags, aprons, um, smalls, uh, just different things like that and machine embroidery. So I still have fun. I mean, who doesn't have fun buying fabric? So I first I got this um, And I'm sorry. I know that a lot of people that do quilting say who it is. This is um, Witchful wi Witchful thinking by David Gulchut for blank quilting corp um I know that a lot of people know their fabrics and stuff, but isn't that adorable? I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's so pretty. And then I got this one with the witch's hats. And um, this one is uh, Crab Apple Hill Studio. And I don't know what it is. And then I got this one also with the witches. It's also Crab Apple Hill. And it's got the witches all holding quilts. Isn't that cool? I love this. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. This collection I really love. And it's more primitive than what I usually am interested in. But I love the colors. 
and I think it was Bluebird of Happiness collection. And um, let's see who this is by. Janet Ray Nesbitt for Henry Glass and Company. And I got all of those on the shop hop. And then I got this one. Look at these birds or these owls. Isn't that cool? And this kind, I got this to go with it. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with that. And then there's a local fabric um, maker, designer, dyer here in the Cedar Rapids area. And she was in on the quilt shop hop. And there, she's, uh, her name of her company is Fern Hill. And look at these fabrics. They are so, so, so cool. So bright. So these are all, I got this Fat Quarter collection while I was on the shop hop. So love those. And then I got some more Halloween fabric. And I got this to go with it. Again, no idea what I'm gonna use it for. And then in um, Helios, this is QT Fabrics, Dan Morris. Look at this, isn't that just so adorable? I love, oh, it's just so, so cute. Again, no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, let's see. Let's move this. I have so much stuff on my table in front of me that I can't even believe it. Then, also in Helios, in Mount Vernon, Iowa, I got this beautiful, um, it was on sale. It was five one-yard pieces that all coordinate. And I just love it. I just love, I love colors you know I'm just like wow so fabric stash <laughs> I got that um, I'm just gonna kind of jump around a little bit so the next thing I got where is it I got some amazing happy mail so if you've been following me um, we uh, have some friends in southern Minnesota that farm and we went up and helped them farm and I helped with meals um, which is normally done by our friend's mom, um, take, uh, cooking the meals and then taking them out to the farmers in the field. And she was busy taking care of her husband who had had a heart attack and was recovering from triple bypass surgery. So when I was up there, um, I helped with meals among some other things. And we were sitting on the porch, my husband and I, this week, this last week, and the um, uh, UPS guy came and dropped off his package and I said this package is from Scott which is our farming friends and I said is he sending us a care package for harvest already because <laughs> he usually sends my husband a care package to get him ready to go farming and we opened it up and my um, our friend's mom her name is Deanna had made a whole bunch of things for us um, she's an avid quilter and also does machine embroidery and stuff but wait till you see what she made us. So she knew we had a camper, of course, because I took the camper with me when I went up to help farming. So we opened up this box and in it were two of these camping quilts. They're lap quilts and they have all kinds of little fun camping sayings. Life is better when we're camping. Um, what happens at the cabin stays at the cabin. My hotel has more than five stars. So one of them has this camping um, background fabric. And they're, like I said, they're just lap quilt size, which is perfect for the camper. And then the second one has this kind of heavier, fuzzy material. It's not, um, I don't know what it is. She said it was a new fabric to her and she was trying it out. So this one's a little bit warmer. It's exactly the same thing. So we got two of these, which I am really excited about because we have a couch in our camper and I lay down on the couch when we watch TV and I've been using this big, huge, heavy blanket that comes off of our camp bed in our camper. And these are gonna be perfect for that. So she made two of those. Then she made, where'd they go? Then she made two of these for our cat beds because she knew we had two cats and they are super super soft on this side 
and then they actually fit perfectly in the cat carrier that we use in the car. So she made two of those and then, sorry, <laughs> gotta get down and get it. She made eight coasters, eight camping coasters um, and she does it so the top is just like a square and then this is inner um, kind of folded uh, rectangles. I gotta figure out how she did that. So she made us eight coasters and then she made me a hot pad all from this camping fabric. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so much work. And we were, we were just flabbergasted when we opened up the package. So, um, wow. So that was a super, super, super fun package to get. Um, and we're gonna make really, really good use of it. So on the quilting side, I also, like I said, I don't make a lot of big quilts, but when I was on the shop hop, I saw some fabric and a pattern that I wanted to try and it's called a jelly roll race quilt and if you're not familiar with quilting and what a jelly roll is a jelly roll is this it's usually coordinating fabric this particular one is Kimberbell um, red uh, white and bloom fabrics and you get they're two and a half inch strips and you get 40 pieces I think I think they're all the same 40 pieces um, of two and a half inch strips and then some of the fabrics are um, there's like three or four strips of each each different color fabric so you take those and you open them up and you stitch them all together and you end up with this great big long line of strips and then you start putting end to end together and sewing the strips together over and over and over um, it's kind of I know I'm not being very clear if you want to see what I'm talking about you can look up jelly roll race quilt and it is super super fast and I finished the most of the top of the quilt I still have to do the borders but I did this in about two days so what you end up with is all the strips put together but kind of random layout and here's the fabrics I really like it so this was a kit that I included the jelly rolls and the jelly roll I just needed one and the fabrics for the border so what I have left yet I've got the top the jelly roll part of the top of the quilt left and you can see it's it's going to be pretty big because then there's going to be three border strips and I think one of the border strips is only Maybe two of them are two inches wide and one's five inches wide. So there'll be quite a, quite a bit more all the way around. So all I have to do is cut the strips and put that on and I will have the top of my quilt done. And it really, li literally will have taken me just, just a very few hours. So I really like the fabric. I really like the pattern because it's so easy. So I got that done. Um, so, and that was a lot of fun. To work on it was something I um, had never done before so then I started working on um, a new bench pillow by Kimberbell and I started working on Main Street celebration bench pillow this is what it looks like this is a machine embroidery design um, if you have a, a machine that does embroidery the Kimberbell patterns are amazing this one requires you can do it in multiple hoopings in a 5 by 7 hoop but I use my 9 by 14 hoop you have to have like a 6 by 10 hoop in order to not have to do multiple hoopings um, and it's made up of seven different blocks so each one of these blocks is machine embroidery and I got three of the blocks done this one they call it the general store but I think it just looks like a house I got that one done and it's got all kinds of details like the windows actually have a mint colored vinyl on top of them um, the steps are are made with a faux leather um, and then all of the fabric this is a, um, a kit the fabric kit that I bought and then the embellishment kit that I bought um, the embellishment includes this red glitter some more of the white faux leather um, stuff like that so I got that block done then I got they call this one the welcome block 
It's just this one will go on the very end of the pillow. It's got this really cute bicycle. And then these leaves are um, green pieces of felt. So I got that one done. And then I got the fire station done. And this is just the stabilizer. I haven't squared these blocks up yet. But this, <coughs> excuse me, um, the fire truck is, it's all a combination of fabric. This is that faux leather. And then this is a silver faux leather for the clock. Isn't that cool? So I've got four more blocks to make. And then, um, and I'm also, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm doing a background quilting as I go. And it's just got some stars in it and swirls. So I've been working on that. And those take me, oh, I would say there's usually about an hour about 45 to 55 minutes of actual machine embroidery time and then um, I have to cut cut all the fabrics to size and then um, trim them and stuff like that so I would say each block is an hour and a half to two hours to do each block and because um, like this one you know there's a lot of trimming around the leaves and stuff like that so that's a lot of fun I love my machine embroidery my embroidery machine so I did that um, let's see what else I did uh, have a full finish I told you I was gonna jump around um, I finally got into my box of finished uh, cross stitch things and took one of them to Michael's and had it framed and I got um, it, it, I made the mistake when I picked out this fabric, and it, this is washed out because of light. You can actually see it better, but I always choose fabric that's too light for whites. Um, but this is Summer Delivery by Plum Street Samplers. I absolutely love it. I'm not thrilled with my framing job from Michaels. You can see they went a little crooked here um, in their defense, and then also the fabric is you can't really tell, but the fabric is wrinkled um, a little bit. But in their defense, I had a horrible time ironing this fabric. Um, it's kind of a stiff linen, and it was a little bit stretched out, but not horrible. But I ironed and ironed and ironed with the tea towel on top and kind of spritzing the fabric, trying to get all the wrinkles out and stuff. And it wasn't great, but there's really no excuse for it being crooked. I'm not going to take it back. My husband might look at it. Um, I don't know how they do it, whether it's, um, I think it's on a sticky board, probably not removable, and I don't want to ruin the piece, and it's not that bad. Um, and it'll just go on my brag wall. It's not like it's a gift to somebody or anything, but I love the design. This is Summer Delivery by Plum Street Samplers. I finished it Oh, I finished it right around the start of COVID and it's been sitting in a, in a box. So I'm just really glad to have it done and I'm really happy with the frame that I got um, from Michaels. I didn't, I didn't do any glass, I didn't do any um, matting because I just wanted it to be pretty simple and it ended up with the coupon costing me $75. So I probably won't go back to that Michaels. Um, or if I do, I'll talk to them first about maybe, you know, saying, do I have the fabric um, enough? And I'll probably would take this piece with them and show them how it got a little bit crooked. So I know a lot of you are gonna say, oh, take it back um, and stuff, but it's it's not that bad. And I'm just I'm just glad to have it done and I am I am happy with it. Um so then I also did a little bit of stitching on O Feathers by Rosewood Manor. Um, I would have more show to, to show you, but I had to rip out about an hour's worth of work. So I finished this, pretty much this side is done except for the border. And then I finished the body of the peacock except for those two little spots there. And then you can kind of see I, um, uh, where I had to rip out a bunch of black. So I had all of this part done here and it was, I'm stitching over two, and it was one row off. So it was a half of a stitch off. Um, 
and my husband's like, oh, just leave it. You know, nobody will know. And I'm like, yeah, you know how that goes. We know. So I took it out last night and started, and I got this part here restitched. So I love this design, and it is getting so close to being done. This part here will take a little bit. I've got um, with this motif, this motif, and then all of this part here to do. And then there is a full border all the way around the chart. But that is just so good, it's so cool. And um, this is stitched in six colors is all, six colors of Sulky's threads. And I love working with Sulky's. So I got that done. Then I decided to design a chart. I started this one a long time ago. It is super, super simple. It is for sale on my site. It's only $2.50 as a PDF download. And this is what it is. It is called Be You. And it's just a little reminder to be yourself. Um, I think it's like, I don't know, 39 by 39 or 39 by 40 or something. So not very many stitches. It's only done in four colors. I have the colors um, listed on the chart, of course, but honestly, just pull full four colors from your stash. And then I stitched it on a tiny piece of, I stitched it in my, uh, I think it's a four by four or six by six Q-snap and tiny piece of scrap fabric that I had. This one stitched over two on 32 count. Um, I don't even know what kind, what color the fabric is. It might have been a fabric by Jody. And then I just used scrap pieces of fabric that I had in my scrap drawer and made the little pillow. This is a um, flower ribbon that I bought at Joann's and I glued it on with permanent fabric glue. And I put a link to the fabric glue in my Amazon shop and my Amazon shop link is down below in the more information. And then on the back, this was another piece of scrap, uh, fabric scrap that I had and it's um, little bees and it says like queen bee, be respectful, home, um, it had other words but that's all that fit. So that's it and I think this would be a cute gift for um, for anybody, for a friend, but also for a young girl uh, or a teenage girl or somebody graduating or something that's just like a remember to be yourself type of thing. So that is available in my shop. If you um, go to my shop and type in B-E-E -E and then E-W-E, -E, you'll find the pattern. And I'm just learning how to do digital downloads on my site. So um, if you have any trouble downloading it, uh, then let me know. The way it's supposed to work is you buy the chart and any other things you want, you pay for it, you get your confirmation email that your order was received and complete, and then you'll get a second email with the download link for the chart. And then if you have a registered account, if you uh, have a customer account on our site, you can always go to your My Account page and view the order and the download link will be there too. So that was really that was really fun, and I'm actually working on a couple of other designs that are um, simple but fun. And I hope you like it. Let me know if you end up stitching it and finishing it. I would love to see your finish, and if you send me a, a email with a picture of your finish, I will put it on our floss tube and show everybody else. So that was that was fun. That was something I never ever expected to do. Um, okay, so what else? I got more Happy Meal. I got my Black Needle Society box for this month, and I also got my Black Needle Society box. Um, oh, I think I might have showed you guys this already. I think I did. I got my little needle na nanny with the dragon stitching. That was in our box, and then these, um, I'm pretty sure I showed that on my last email, these unicorn scissors. This one was Christmas in July. And I have to say, I'm pretty uh, happy with this box. First thing we got was a roll of small pieces of wrapping paper. And like, yes, things I, <laughs> things I can actually use, you know? And then we got this um, fun, piece, fun pair of uh, Christmas socks, which 
I always am putting socks on because uh, otherwise I walk around the house uh, bare feet. And then we got this um, lollipop and it says it's a handmade lollipop. So they must roll out this um, hard candy part and wrap it in a circle. And I don't know if I'm gonna try to eat that or give that to the neighbor girl. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. So we got that. And then we got some thread, uh, Threadworks floss in three uh, kind of Christmassy winter colors. And I've never used Threadworks floss, so I was pretty excited to get that. And my favorite thing, my, my Needle Nanny collection is growing just because of Black Needle Society. But I love this Needle Nanny. It's this gingerbread house. Isn't that cool? I don't know why that's not focusing very good. And I wanted to tell you guys, um, if my sound is off, I lost the thing to um, plug in my microphone. So I'm going without a microphone today. Then we got this beautiful, it's called Glacier Lugana. This is a 25 count Lugana by Forbidden Fiber Company. Isn't that gorgeous? Really, really like that. And we got some gift tags. So much fun. And we got a little bundle of fun uh, gold and silver and winter, uh, gold and silver metallic ribbon, winter uh, charms, and a ornament hook. And this is by Lady Dot Creates. So I'm just thrilled with this box. And then we got this pattern by um, Ori TM of this snowflake and I am going to stitch this. Um, it's 131 by 131 so it's not really small but I love it on that dark blue fabric and I think it's really pretty. I would, I don't know, I may do it on a lighter fabric and use a um, variegated thread. I don't know. Suggestions anybody? What, that, what would look good? Um, I guess snowflakes aren't really like weird colors. Be neat to find a kind of a light blue variegated thread. Um, isn't that pretty? So that was our Christmas in July box, and um, some of them I've been like oh, I'm getting a lot of stuff that I'll never use, and I end up giving it all away. Um, but this box I'm going to use almost everything in it, so I was really excited about that. All right, so that was more happy mail. Okay. Let's do let's do the giveaways from last time. So I had five different giveaways from the last video, and um, let's just jump right in here. The first one was Tea Time by um, It's So Emma, and you had to use the word tea in your sentence, and we had 26 people who were interested in winning that, and Lor Lorraine Bergstrom won. So if you're a winner, uh, my email address is down below in the um, more information section. Send me an email, put floss tube winner in the subject line, and then in the body of the email, tell me what you won, and then give me your mailing address so I can get it out to you. So Lorraine Bergstrom won that. And then we had um, Egg Cetera by Cross-Eyed Cricket. And he had to use the word egg. 16 people were interested in that. And Colleen Isaac won that. So Colleen sent me an email. And then I gave away this garden chart. Quilted Garden by um, Blue Ribbon Designs. And 26 people were interested in this chart. And Susan Hogan won. Susan Hogan. Send me an email on that. And then I gave two pieces of Jody's fabrics away. And I've got two more pieces that I'm going to give away in this video. And the first one was this kind of brown fabric. And these are 32 count even weave, I think. Yes, 32 count Lugana. You had to use the word brown in your sentence. And Dox Stitcher, D-O-X-S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R, won this. So there were 40 people interested in the brown fabric. And then I also gave away this pink fabric by Jody, And there were 41 people interested in this. And the winner is Kathy McCrea. 
M-C-C-R-E-A. So send me an email. Let me know you win. If you don't, contact me before my next video. Um, I will offer them up again. So, whoops, sorry. Um, okay, what's next? Um, I think we will do new inventory. I just have a little bit of new inventory to show you. And then I have a whole bunch of scissor fobs that I made to show you. And if you're not interested in that, then you can um, skip that. So, new inventory. Sorry. I don't have a lot. And the reason I don't have a ton of new inventory is because I have been restocking dozens and dozens of charts. So, most of my inventory time has been ordering um, things that are out of stock and then entering them back in. There are, if you go to my channel um, and do and click on the videos tab, you'll see recent videos that say what's back in stock. And there's two videos for what's back in stock that show quite a, quite a few, many dozen charts that are have been um, very recently put back into stock. And then there's also a video for what's currently on sale. Um, today's July 29th, that is, the sale is gonna change pretty soon. But um, if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll get notified when I upload um, videos like those, and they have been really popular. So, as far as brand new inventory, um, I've got House Guest. This is a full kit by Satsuma Street. And this one, actually, if you're watching this today, it's not on my site yet, but it will be very, very shortly. I've entered it into the inventory, but I haven't uploaded the inventory um, to my online shop yet. So this is so adorable. And as far as restock, I got a whole bunch of her kits back in stock. So you get everything you need to finish that. That is house guests. And then this is one of my favorite new designs. This is by um, Le Petit Croix and Le, Le Petit Croix de Lucie. And it's called um, Halloween Candy Shelf. And just look at that stuff. That, I mean, these, the eyes, but the eyes say boo, spell boo. And you've got these great um, jack-o'-lanterns and the black cat and the flying jack-o'-lanterns, the little ghosts, so many different things. It uses a ton of floss colors. So not a super, super simple stitch, but it is adorable. I would love to see that stitched up. New by Stony Creek is Santa's Express Stocking. There's another one called Santa's Train that's really, really simple, similar, but it, has, it shows Santa riding further back and it shows more of the train. And then we've got Doodles Halloween by Heart and Hand. I don't know if they, and that comes with two tiny little star charms. We've got to show them here and here. And then the new um, by Heart and Hand imprints um, Eagle and Flag. And then finally, I got in stock Blooming Town, Tiny Town. The whole uh, Tiny Town series has been super, super popular that in stock and then I got this fun chart it's really hard for me to get um, with thy needle and thread designs because she doesn't sell directly to online shops uh, shops that are only online but I get uh, what I can from Hoffman and they're hardly ever carry any of her charts so I don't usually have many with thy needle and thread and I'm so glad to get this one it's got, um, a, says a collection of six Halloween themed pin cushions. And look at this one with the bird. And it's got the witch and it says trick or treat. And then it's got ghosts and goblins and two more cats. See if I can find the sixth one. I think the sixth one is this one right here. So you get six, to, six Halloween smalls by With Thy Needle and, by Brenda Gervais from With Thy Needle and Thread. Then, New release by um, Hoffman. Hoffman, as you probably know, has started reprinting charts from uh, the Prairie Schooler, and I don't think I ever had this in stock. So I don't know 
it's it's chart number 214 so it's probably a collection of Halloween smalls but um, it's a great 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 set um, I really like I like the haunted house I love this ghost this haunted house right there is the one I really like and you've got this cat which is um, and those are the reprint chart pack format and they retail for $12 and they're on my site for $10.70. And then they have the newest release of um, Santa's Revisited. This is number 10. And this is years 2007, 2010, and 2017. These charts were previous re previously released as small individual cards, one per year. Those, once they're sold out, they're no longer available as a small cards, and then they're reprinting them in collections. And we're up to collection number 10. I do still have a few of the individual cards on my website, if you like those. And then, last, for new inventory, I got the um, Halloween Just Cross Stitch uh, edition of their magazine. And it's got 55 plus um, charts, and. I don't know if they've always done this, but let me see if I can find it. Maybe they've always done this, but in the back, they have a picture of everything in the, all of the different projects in the book. So lots of your favorite designers, um, some small, some super easy, and some um, a little bit bigger. So that is in stock right now. And that is it for new inventory. Like I said, tons and tons of restocked inventory. I was getting way behind on my ordering and getting stuff out. Um, let's do the um, next set of giveaways before we go on to the Scissor Bobs. So also in the mail this month, I got my fabric from Fabrics by Jody, and I have more than I can eat, so I'm gonna give them away this month. Um, these are 32 count Lugana. And they are from Jody from Steel City Stitchers. And you, I, she may still have a wait list. I think she probably does. But if you go to Steel City Stitchers uh, channel, and the link to that is down below, you can contact Jody and ask about getting in her fabric club. Um, this one, look at that. That is so, so cool. It's hard to give these away, but I just will never use them all. Um, this is kind of, it looks... It's kind of a mix of blue, purple, and reddish orange. So use the word blue, blue. And in order to get do the giveaway, um, you have to be at least 18 years old so I can legally ask for your mailing address. And don't use the word giveaway. Um, the giveaways are sponsored by me. They have nothing to do with YouTube. And you will be, uh, winners will be selected randomly using, um, the comment picker, YouTube comment picker, um, in my next video. So, blue. Use the word blue. The next one's also a 32 count Lagana. Use the word orange. Orange. If you would like to win that. Okay, and then I'm going to give away the chart. I decided I'm not going to um, stitch this. This was in the uh, Dragons and Unicorns uh, Black Needle Society box. And it is by Autumn Lane. And it's called The Beauty and the Beast. It's a brand new chart. Um, if you're interested in this, use the word beauty. B-E-A-U-T-Y. And I will pick winners for those in the next um, video. Okay. Um, I know, <laughs> I feel like I'm really, really going all over everywhere, so I apologize if I don't seem very organized. So, all I have left is scissor fobs, and, um, if you aren't, um, aren't familiar, I used to make jewelry, uh, professionally for, oh, I don't know, 14 years or something like that, maybe not quite that long, and I stopped doing that, oh, probably four years ago, or four or five years ago. But I still have hundreds of pieces of jewelry left over, and I have thousands of pieces of jewelry making supplies left. Um, so I've been taking my jewelry apart and making them into scissor bobs. And I'm going to show them to you. I will, I don't have a marked 
but I'm going to give you what I think I'm going to charge. These are not listed on my website. They're one of a kind, almost always just one of a kind. Um, and um, they, they're not on my website. If you're interested in one, you can use go down and email me. Uh, my email address is below. And be very specific about which one you're interested in. And um, I will let you know whether they've sold out or not. But I also then, sometimes I list them on Instagram for sale. And then sometimes I include them in my Facebook cross-stitch auctions. So you can also sometimes find them there. This one is made of uh, dark red beads with this kind of um, multicolored pendant down below. And it's accented with actual gold filled um, beads. So these saucer beads here, they're really, really, really pretty. They're um, actually gold filled. And the dark red beads I bought when I was in France. They're just a beautiful dark red. This one is gonna, um, I'm gonna sell this one for um, $20. $20. So if you're interested in this, email me. Say I want the dark red with the multi multicolored pendant at the bottom for $20. Um, that's the first one. Then I've got this um, emerald green, and it's a fairy down on the bottom with a painted filigree. And these were natural brass. They were brown, and then I painted them in the uh, emerald green and highlighted it with a gold metallic actually no I didn't highlight it I painted it green and then I buffed it to bring out the detail and then the filigree paint piece was also painted green and then these are black check beads here and then the little bicones are Swarovski crystals so that one is the Green Fairy. Sorry, it's only one-sided. The Green Fairy, and that is $15. Then I've got this one, which is beautiful green beads that I bought in France. I just love these beads. They're almost gone. And then in the bottom is a collection of um, different things. This one's like... Um, life is a journey and then I hand stamped these little tags like this and it says live for today and then it's got a butterfly charm an Eiffel Tower charm um, a key charm all kinds of things down there whoops so this is the life is a journey and this one is $20 And that's definitely one of a kind. This one has really pretty kind of purpley and it's got this rose pendant, kind of vintage rose pendant that I put in the bezel. And so you can say um, yellow rose and that one is $15. This one is just super fun. Um, the way I made this is it started out as a copper blank that was smooth. And then I put it through an embossing folder, like when you emboss a card in a, in a scrapbook, and it made all of those circles and swirls and dots. And then I painted it with special paints that are used for to adhere to metal. And then after I painted it, I um, sanded it to bring out the highlights of the um, circles and dots and then I covered it in um, coated it in a jewelry grade ice resin so it's super hard super durable and then we have these fun orange and purple beads and that one is $15 so just say orange orange and purple $15 the next one is Starfish. This is a hand soldered pendant. Um, these are il illustrations by an artist named Heckel and um, it's got these beautiful beautiful kind of light greenish beads and I put the um, printed out the um, image and put it between two pieces of glass and then I hand soldered it. 
I used to do a lot of soldering and I don't do that anymore. So the starfish is $15. Then I've got this one that is um, a fortune telling palm with a kind of a clock face on the bottom and the emerald green. And the way I made this was I took a brass blank and I painted it green. And then I used a scrapbook stamp that had this palm image on it and I stamped the image onto the brass blank and then I coated it in ice resin to make it super hard and durable and smooth. So the palm image scissor five is $15. Then I've got this red heart, which is these fun, this is kind of a heavy um, glass red heart and that one is $15. And then I've got this fun, um, this is kind of a, I think it's pewter, but I'm not sure. I think it's called Artist Pewter. And it's this cutout heart, and then it's got these fun kind of um, lime, well, no, not really lime green, kind of yellow green faceted beads. I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there and then some glass light blue beads. So um, say silver heart, and that one is $15. Then I've got this, um, I've got a bunch of them, I've got maybe five or six more. This one I made the same way that I made the palm, um, the fortune telling palm. This was a brass blank that I painted in yellows and golds and then I took a scrapbooking stamp and I stamped the ravens on there and then I coated it in um, resin. And then on here, I hand stamped the words, Quoth the Raven Nevermore from Edgar Allan Poe. And then it's um, decorated with kind of a dark brown and goldish brown toned beads. So, whoops, that one got turned around. So it looks like that. And then it's got the quote. That one is $20. You can say the raven, quaff the raven. Then I got this one, which is um, a lion and a snake. And it started out as just a brown uh, brass pendant. And I painted the lion gold and the snake silver. And then I wrapped it in a filigree, a brass filigree. And then it's got um, red carnelian beads and these gorgeous, large faceted beads. And that one is $20 and you can say lion and snake. And um, then I've got this one. It's got these fun light green beads. And then I, it's a guitar pick shape and I hand stamped the words, music is love in search of a word. And that one is $15. You can just say music is love. And next I've got this one, it says dare to be different. It's a handmade pendant. And I made this pendant by, um, this is a bezel, a square brass bezel, and I took the dotted um, scrapbook paper and cut that to size and put that in as the background. And then I had this tiny heart and I um, painted the heart silver with the little red dots. And then I had these words from um, scrapbook kind of stickers and I cut the words out that says dare to be different. And I put that onto the scrapbook paper in the back and then it's all sealed in ice resin. So it's super smooth, super hard, very durable. And then I have the um, star, filigree star that I painted silver. And then it's got these beautiful red check glass beads and these are black onyx. And that one is $20, dare to be different. The thing you might want to keep in mind, this is kind of pointy. Um, if you put it in with a bunch of thread or with your fabric, you might want to be careful about that. So keep that in mind. But that is definitely one of a kind there. 
Then I've got this one I made the exact same way. This was a um, uh, painted the background or maybe it's paper, I can't tell. Either painted or had paper for the background. And then this was a sailboat charm and I um, painted the sailboat white and red. And then I had the stickers that said, follow your dream and put that in and it's sealed in ice resin. And then I had this um, compass pendant that I painted in blue and white and silver. And then I had these beautiful, um, I think they're called sky quartz beads and these white faceted beads. And that one is $20. Then this one's one of my favorites. This is from a necklace pendant that I made that I called Harvest Moon. And you've got the moon and star set over, neat, over top of the embossed tree with the owl in the tree and then the little leaf. These are all brass. This was a um, solid brass blank that I embossed the tree image into and then buffed it and highlighted it um, to bring out the image. And then I um, put a hole in there and riveted the owl onto the tree and then added the overhead charms. And then it's accented with these beautiful brown twisted beads and black onyx. And that one is $25. Last one, got this collection of kind of steampunky keys. So it's got a key that's um, encased in resin and then a lock and some more keys. And then it's got these beautiful orange large beads and purple beads. So you can say keys and this one is $20. And that's it. So I was really, really busy. Um, making scissor fobs this time. And anything that doesn't sell in the next few days after this video is released, I will probably be posting on Instagram and will be including in my uh, Facebook auctions. Um, if I am on top of it, if things sell, I will put it down below. So before you contact me, you can look down below and see if a scissor fob has sold or not. Um, I will try to keep up on that, but I'm not gonna <laughs> make any promises. So um, that is it. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope you guys have a great time until my next video. Um, we are, as far as what's going to be going on, I am heading up, uh, my husband's leaving tomorrow and going up to his mom. She is going to be moving and I'm going to be flying up. He's going up early to help get the house that she's moving into ready. Um, he's going to be putting some, taking some carpet out and putting some flooring in where she wants to have her art room, kind of craft room. And then I'm going to fly up a week from tomorrow and the rest of the his siblings are going to be there and we are going to help her move. So I will be gone for three nights, four days. And then in September, just in case I don't get a video made before then, uh, on September 6th we are leaving for... South Dakota and we're taking our camper to the Black Hills and we are going to camp there for four nights and go hiking and biking. So I will have more information on that. I will actually be closed um, when we're gone because it'll take us two days to get there and two days to get back and four days there. So the shop will be closed. There will be a notice in my shop when I'm closed and you'll be able to browse and add things to your cart but you won't be able to check out but that'll be made very, very clear um, when we actually uh, get to that point. So happy stitching, everybody. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye.